Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in this week's show. The super four-year-old cold, Hello World, gives champion trainer John O'Brien a fourth consecutive Independence Cup win at TNT Santa Rosa Park. In Jamaica, the favorites beaten in the ONS Takum Trophy races at Caymanus Park, leading jockey Tevin Foster, piloting the Division I winner. And a record 93 wins in the summer spring meet for Safid Joseph, the Barbadian completing a 10th straight trainer's championship title at Gulfstream Park in Florida. Plus a regular check-in on other Caribbean successes on the North American continent. We are kicking things off at TNT's Santa Rosa Park, where the Independence Cup feature included a powerful quartet from the John O'Brien barn. Number one, the informed multiple grade one winner, Hello World, with Dylan Kellerman aboard. Stablemate and defending champion, Princess Aruna, with Neela Mohammed in the saddle. Also, the 2022 Guinness winner, Crown Prince, and last year's Triple Crown winning filly in the headlines, all from their brand barn. There are the odds. Hello World in the one box, the six to five favorite on a six race winning streak. The others fancied in the betting, number five, Crown Prince at six to one. The US bred kitten with a whip, number seven, coming off a claiming win at Florida's Tampa Bay Downs in March at three to one odds. And number nine, another US bred entry, Sneaky Cheeky, the seven to five second favorite, the five year old mayor, a big 13 length winner on her Santa Rosa debut last month. The Grade 1 9 furlong event switched from off the turf because of wet conditions. In the com box, picking them up mid-race is John Rupert watching in the headlines and Sneaky Cheeky in a front-end duel. The race of the back stretch here and it's a match race. In the headlines on the inside and Sneaky Cheeky on the outside. Five lengths back. Kitten with a whip. Moves into that third spot. Then comes Hello World. He's starting to make his move. Striking Chrome is on the far side. Then comes Crown Prince. Leonardo Angel is next and the defending champion Princess Aruna is in all sorts of trouble. She's about 15 lengths off the lead. 600 meters to go in the Independence Cup. In the headlines, has taken the lead now. But here comes Kitten with a whip on Hello World with their challenge. Sneaky Cheeky gives way. Striking Chrome is battling away. Then comes Crown Prince, Leonardo Angel, and Princess Aruna. They come to the top of the stretch. And with the lead on the inside, Hello World kicks clear. Kitten with a whip in second. Crown Prince is battling away in third. Running on from the Back of the pack, I can see striking Chrome inside the final 200 meters. And Hello World is pulling away from Ketan with a whip. And Hello World, he's gonna do it again. Another grade one success. Hello World. Significantly eased in deep stretch by jockey Dylan Kellowan for trainer John O'Brien. Hello World completes an afternoon three timer for the jockey trainer combination. Undefeated this season, seven wins in a row now for the Poon Tip Stud Farm Limited's Hello World and the four year old Colt adds the Carib Independence Cup to the Champagne Stakes and the President's Cup as grade one scores so far this year. Hello World as the six to five favorite, unchallenged in this win by five lengths over the three to one shot kitten with a whip. One minute 54.46 seconds, the winning time for nine furlongs. Four consecutive Independence Cup wins now for trainer O'Brien, following scores with Apocalypse, Stroke of Luck, and Princess Aruna. To Jamaica now, where the restricted overnight allowance ONS Room Trophy was a highlight of Saturday's 11 race program at Caymanus Park. Divided into two sections, seven runners contested section one of the one mile event. The Oak Ridge Farms three year old filly digital won the odds on favorite, slowest out of the starting gates, but by mid race had recovered to be second with Radish Roman in the saddle behind quick 23 3 by 45 3 pace setting splits. Burlap bouncing on an, a six lens lead from racing in second digital one passing the four burlap increases it to seven from digital one another three before we come to money miser eight lengths away before we come to power from above hustle up and ask some more another six before we come to john crow jeff behind john crow jeff that's power and racing at the back of the field that's arrow in there at the coming to the top of the lane in the ons stack room trophy and burlap is still in front but bearing down on burlap that's digital one switching out wide money miser coming with a good looking run and now money miser looks to hit the front power from above watch power from above in the middle right there too that's digital one a good race brewing coming to the furlong pole and it's it is money miser on that lead money miser holding on from on the outside power from above money miser keeping on power from above is testing money miser still in front and money miser will go on to win division one of the ons stack room money miser beats power from above kevin burnside on commentary leading rider tevin foster 
Miser's well-measured ride getting the job done aboard the four-year-old Colt Money Miser. A fifth lifetime win this for a Colt that was second in all three of the Triple Crown races last year. The Guinness at Leisure and the Derby for trainer Fitzroy Glispie, a multi-dimensional horseman with three classic wins as a trainer and eight as a jockey, including three Derby wins riding Legal Light Cell and Black Knight. Money Miser, the 3 to 2 second favorite, scores by two lengths in Division 1 of the ONS Tack Room Trophy, chased by Power from Above and the favorite Digital 1, 140.07, the winning time going a mile. Division 2 of the ONS Tack Room had eight starters and a tighter finish than Division 1 as the field gets closely bunched, heading for the home stretch. They have left the three and it is Oasis Jack now assumes the lead. Oasis Jack kicks away from She's My Friend. Also coming on out wide, that's life is life. It is Oasis Jack in front and traveling nicely. Now kicks away by three. Life is life is chasing hard. Here comes on the outside. That's burn notice coming down the middle of the racetrack with intent. But it is Oasis Jack in front. Burn notice, life is life. It's a tight, it's going to be a tight affair. Oasis Jack still in front. Burn notice begins to get into gear. Oasis Jack in front. Burn Notice is closing like a well oil machine and Burn Notice now goes on to beat Oasis Jack. The improving rider Shaman Townsend with a strong finish. The six-year-old Burn Notice took a lot of riding from the 3 8 pole. Enjoying a growing list of feature race wins, apprentice rider Townsend, who turns 32 years old in a couple of weeks, was on an afternoon double. And with this win for a Sean Connections Burn Notice, adds to wins he had earlier this summer, with Mac and Rome in the Terramoto Trophy and the Hall of Fame stakes with Is That a Fact? Scoring by a half length at 5-1 to one odds for trainer Ian Roberts. The 3-1 to one bets, Oasis Jack and Life is Life, second and third. The even money favorite, Provocativa, a disappointing eighth. 141.89, Burn notices winning time for the ONS Tack Room, one mile run. And finally, no Caribbean trainer in history has been as successful in North American horse racing as Safi Joseph Jr., the Barbadian with over 1,100 wins and career horses earnings of 54.2 million US dollars. And this past weekend, he completed a 10th consecutive trainer's title at Florida's Gulfstream Park. Dominant throughout the entire spring-summer season, also labeled the Royal Palm Meet, Safi would secure a single winner on Sunday's season-closing meet, coming in the $61,000 allowance optional claiming third race over six and a half furlongs with his two entries among the pace setters. The favorite, One Sharp Cookie, tracked by his four horse, Holiday Pay, with Barbadian rider Tishon Hazelwood aboard. They have less than three furlongs to run. They have one sharp cookie to catch. Holiday Pay has dropped the length off his barn buddy out wide in Saybrook. Dropping back now is Make It Big, so we're down to three. And of the three, one sharp cookie the target. They went 45 and two for the opening half mile. One sharp cookie comes off the turn, trying to sneak away and doing a pretty good job of it. At the rail, it's Holiday Pay back to third in Saybrook. There's an eighth of a mile to go, and Safi's one two here. He has Holiday Pay trying to reach one sharp cookie. One sharp cookie at the 16th pole with a clear lead one sharp cookie is in front holiday pay is second on sunday's gulfstream card that also saw wins for jamaican trainers willoughby simpson and leon minot Safi's one sharp cookie wins the third race and completes for Safi joseph jr a record 93 wins on the season topping the 71 winners he posted in the 2021 campaign his Gulfstream Park season winners count and horses earnings of 3.22 million, more than double that of runner-up Jose D'Angelo. Jamaican run Crichton fourth in the table with 34 wins and horses earnings of $1.16 million. Safi Joseph, who also had wins this past week at Kentucky Downs and Saratoga, has not lost the Gulfstream Park trainer's title since his runner-up finish in the 2021 championship meet to Hall of Famer Todd Pletcher. Our usual weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now before we go. In the past week, since our last show, I've counted 82 victories. Among them, the Barbadian jockey Rocco Boyne with seven wins at Thistledown, including a Monday night triple. The Barbadian rider Demaria Bino had four wins at Assiniboia Downs. Five wins at Centre Mile for the Barbadian jockey Rashid Hughes, including a Friday triple. And there were stakes doubles each for the Jamaican jockeys Blanford Stewart and uh, Orlando Foster at Lethbridge. Foster with five weekend wins overall. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.